Jones, it's Nona, and I'm back with another Dollar Tree recipe. Uh, most of these products are either from the Dollar Tree or can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I got is this TJ's Farm Select Steak Cut Fries. I've just spread them on a baking sheet there. I have some Great Value Black Pepper. That's from Walmart. Um, but you can get black pepper at Dollar Tree. I got the Old World Tradition, Old World Flavor, Coarse Coastal Salt, a can of Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk, but you can get another brand of evaporated milk there at the Dollar Tree. I have a Spice Treasures Chicken Gravy Mix, which I got at Dollar General, but you can get gravy mixes at the Dollar Tree. And then a bottle of the Select. Supreme Tradition Italian Seasoning. What's wrong with me today? Okay, then I have a Sunny Acres American Shreds Cheese. Okay, so what I'm going to make is knock off poutine. Poutine, if you don't know what that is, it's a dish that's popular in Canada, and it's where you have french fries, and you top those with cheese curds and gravy. So, obviously, I don't have any cheese curds, but, um, I'm just going to use the American cheese. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some salt and pepper on the fries. I like to put it on liberally because that's going to be your only flavoring. Then I'm going to put them in the oven. Um and bake them to according to package directions and then I'll be back to prepare the gravy okay guys the fries are done and we're gonna go ahead and pull those from the oven please ignore the puppies arguing in the background see they're they're golden brown there so I like to get them a little crisp because you're going to put the gravy on them. So now I'm going to get ready to put the cheese on them. And put them back in the oven. I'm going to crank the heat so the cheese melts. Probably off. Okay, I'll just spread it all out now and pop it back in the oven to let it melt. And I'm going to go ahead and start making the gravy. Let me turn this oven up a little bit. Okay, so for the gravy, you need one cup of liquid. It calls for water. I want mine to be more rich, so I'm going to use this evaporated milk. I'm also going to use a little bit more than the cup it calls for. Not quite this whole can because it's 12 ounces, but probably about 9 or 10. I'm going to put this on pretty high because I want it to go ahead and heat up. Guys, I apologize for those dogs. Every time I start filming in my sink full of dirty dishes, oh my gosh. Oh, that was awful. I haven't done my cleaning today, y'all. Excuse me. So you pour in the packet. Use your little wire whisk. Get yeah, all the lumps. And then I just continually stir mine lightly. This is a Teflon pan, so I don't want to use this metal whisk too hard. It's 
stir too hard because of course it could scrape off some of that coating and we don't want that. So I'm going to just continue to stir until this comes up to a boil. You guys chat amongst yourselves. Those fries smell really good. You can see it's starting to bubble a little bit there on the side. And it will thicken up pretty fast since I have the evaporated milk in it. So you definitely want to stir it constantly. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's thickening up pretty good now. You want to cook this for about a minute or so from start to finish. Or until it's as thick as you would like your gravy to be. That's pretty good for me and Jay how I like ours. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat and pull it off. So now our gravy's done, and I'll be right back with the potatoes as soon as the cheese is melted. Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and pull the fries now. The cheese has melted some. I'm going to hand y'all off to Jay so I can plate some of these up. See, that thickened up a lot. That's how I like my gravy. This is like southern style poutine. Okay, a little bit more. And then we're going to let Mr. Jason have a taste test. Wouldn't you know I can't find one fork in the dish drainer? Oh yeah, here we go. So let me take the camera and Jay, you go ahead and try on. Now it's hot, don't burn yourself. That's a big bite. <laughs> Is it hot? Mm. Is it good? It's good. Look at that beard, y'all. Look at that. Look at mm. me. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Say bye, Jay. Bye.